Oh, wood chips. Yeah, dude, they were trying. Honestly, you that's up. on brand because they um they filter through stuff like this, but when they char, it smells it. good. How's it taste? What is up, everybody? Jack Daniels was super kind, sent us two bottles. You've been seeing them around. We've got the Jack Daniels Bonded Tennessee Whiskey and the Jack Daniels Triple Mash Blended Straight Whiskey. Both bottled in bond. Grease, what are you holding in your hand? I'm holding the bonded, which means it's a hundred freaking proof. Pretty sure, Will, that this bottle right here, contents in this bottle, is in this bottle. Do you want to explain the Triple Mash? Will, what that entails? Yeah. So the triple mash is 60% three rye bottled in bond. You asked me to explain it. Yeah, but you were, you've, you took two. Triple mash, triple means three. I had to explain that to Grease earlier. You did. Uh, it has a blend of bonded American malt, bonded rye, and bonded Tennessee whiskey. So it's three different bonded whiskeys. They blended together. The American malt was 20%. The Tennessee whiskey was 20%. And the rye, 60. The rye is 60%. Yeah. And they sent us these. We're going to crack them open. They're going to be hitting stores. They've already probably hit some of your stores. They're going to be hitting our market this week. I have not had the triple mash, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you right here, right now, Jack Daniels rye is so good. 60%, I feel like, is, is a good step forward. For this mash bill. Well, especially when the blend. We, we love the high proof rye that they put out. We also love the 94 Yeah, we proof like rye. we just like the rye. So let's go ahead and start with the bonded Tennessee right. whiskey, aged in select barrels for added depth and character. I wonder if they use a Sinatra barrel. Is this yours? So we're gonna fresh crack these. Thank you, Jack Daniels, yeah. for sending these for our honest review. Um, we love the Jack Daniels Bonded. I'm curious to see how this compares to the Duty Free Shop one we've had. Well, if only we could compare. Well, wowza. Dude, that was a good. There was some pressure loaded in that one. So this is 100 proof. It's Tennessee whiskey. It is, it's interesting. It comes in 700 milliliter bottles. Right. But this is an American release. Which, so... prior to this video, I was a little upset because I was like, don't Europe our America. Right. And then it was like, we're getting 50 mils less. And I said, where where are we going to get that value from? Because we need to call somebody and be like, hey, like, do we get like a pin or like yeah. a sticker? Like, Is there a swag club we could join? Right. But yeah. then you made a great point. It's only $29.99. Exactly. Which is a great price. Right. And then the triple mash. It's $32.99. $32.99. Yeah. So coming out with a new product that's sub 50 bucks, right. sub 40 bucks, uh, and in one case, sub 30 bucks, pretty impressive. Dude. Cheers. Dude, you know what I'm excited about? The new very, the new very, uh, the new video series that we have coming out, Find the Jack. Mm -hmm. We can use these with the, we can use, well, at least we can use the triple match because we already used a bottled and bond. So this is 100 proof. It is, it does say, uh, age for at least four years, which we know that's a part of the uh, right the requirements of bottled and bond. Yeah. But this does feel younger than the duty free release. We could do it side by side. I want to. I feel like it's still probably in the six year range. You think? I do. Mm -hmm. But you do know that this the whatever the youngest whiskey is going to be the age statement. N not only because of that, but it's not going to have older whiskey because if it's bottled and bond, it does have to be in, in the, the same, same season. season. So you're not getting a blend of older whiskeys with the younger whiskey as right, well. So right. you pretty much have to age it up the whole time, right. all together. This is good. Twenty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Love that. Um, Love that. Honestly, to me, this, that's, I, that's the proof I want Jack Daniels at. I grab that above number seven 99 times out of 100. I would grab that over number seven 100 times. You're literally, out of yeah, you're going to pay the same amount with an extra 50 milliliters. Number caveat. seven is not cheap in our area or many places. There's actually, yeah, it's like some 35 places it's hard bucks to get here. Jack Daniels right It's now. 35 bucks here. So, I mean, we're dealing already, we're dealing with a similar price point. You're getting 10% more. 
alcohol and flavor. This is what automatically like for me is going to be one I'm always going to have a bottle of. Right. I don't now. think as you're wrong. As soon as this is released in our market, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have a bottle of it on my shelf, and it's going to stay there, and I'm going to drink it. it it's one also, liquor store uh, owner in the area said these are going to be coming a lot, so drink them. Yeah, yeah. This is. What, what it sounds Don't like Don't buy them and hoard them. This isn't going to be a special release. This is being added to their lineup, yeah. which I like. And I like that it's going to be an affordable product added to the lineup. And this is what people have been wanting. People have been wanting a higher proof Jack yes. Daniels. So giving us a bottled yes. and bond. It's where it's at. <sighs> okay. Let's go to the next one, Grace. I'm, I'm, I'm so, I, here's, I don't know if I'm excited yet. I'm intrigued. Yeah. So the triple mash, because it's going to have that American malt... I've not had the Jack Daniels malt, nope. but I have had their rye and I have had their Tennessee whiskey. So it, it's going to be a fun experience, but I love that it's rye dominant. I was actually... That's exactly what I said, yeah. I was very curious why they didn't just do the Tennessee whiskey and the rye, but they incorporated the, the third mash bill. I don't know if they're right. trying to bring more attention to it. You brought up a really interesting well, question. Well, triple mash though. just sounds better than double mash. Or if they called it a... a boo rye. Well, well they can't. No. They could call it a tin -a rye. <laughs> well, or could they? I mean, they could, but that's not on brand. <laughs> could they call it a boo rye? Um, what was the... What, but No, but what was the interesting question you brought up? Oh, in this bottled and bond product, Triple Mash, there's a rye bottled and bond. There is a... Uh, Single malt bottled in bond, and then there's the regular Tennessee whiskey bottled in bond. So my question is, we've already got the Tennessee whiskey bottled right, in bond. Right. There's two here that I've never had in a bottled in bond fashion. Right, and because they don't release that as a bottled <clears throat> in bond. Right. So my question is, if this is a big hit, I could see them coming out with those individual products as like a Tennessee tasters option, which would be really cool. It would be cool. Because you'd be able to deconstruct the triple mash. Yeah. And like with Dixon, and play, we, we've done that play with, with it. Also maybe play with it, do your own yeah. percentages. I would love that. I'd right. love to see Oh, hundred percent. And we've done that with Dixon. He, like it, Dixon has told us before in stuff that, you know, he's blended and stuff. He's like, it's super fun to deconstruct and taste the, and taste the, the individual, of the, parts, the yeah. sum of the parts to kind of figure out the what, parts of the sum, the parts of the sum. So that would be super cool. I'm just going to throw it out there. Will, you know, what would also be super cool is if there was a set it had the triple mash in the middle. And All then, is like the like the pint bottles. And, well, if you they could have like the big the, bottle, yeah. oh. but then the pint, pint, and pint of the individual products That'd and sell cool. it as a set. Oh my gosh, I'm here all day, Jack. So the the other thing with that though is that just because it is, they do say, <laughs> dumb. They do say a blend of bonded American malt, rye, and Tennessee whiskeys. But that doesn't mean that, like, to me, that just means they took a run of barrels from the same season because yes. they're all bonded warehouses yes. and they proofed it to 100 proof from all three of the whiskeys. Right, it doesn't right. necessarily mean that they have, like, oh, we're going to take our American malt bonded product, right. but it does meet the categories, which means they could do it. I mean, a bonded There's rye, always the possibility, too, that the individual components, the other, the, you know, the, well, I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb with them using 60% of it. The rye bottled and bond's pretty daggum good. Well, and that's the thing is that there's not a ton of bottled and bond rye products on the market. I can think of yeah. off the top of my head Rittenhouse. Two. Rittenhouse and Old Overholt. Yeah. I, I'm certain that maybe like AD Laws has like a bonded, has some bonded products. They may have a bonded rye, um, but there are some other like more craft distillers that yeah, may yeah, have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as the big boys, I can, they have the stock to do it. They have the ability right. to actually do it in a, in a more widespread fashion. I think of Jack Daniels being one of the people that could do that. I would love to see a bonded rye from Jack Daniels because I love Jack Daniels. Oh rye. God, this is gingerbread. This is. I see, I get a ton of cherry on the nose, but I also didn't spill mine all over the counter, so there could be that. Oh my gosh, dude! Get your nose close to the edge of that glass. That is gingerbread. I've never smelled gingerbread that so forward before in my life. I smell, actually smell oh, pepper. Red, red Twizzler. Okay. 
I need Taylor's nose. <clears throat> I need Taylor's nose. Confirm the red Twizzler. The, you don't have to side with him, Taylor. She always I does. Don't. <sighs> but wow. Yeah, like a red Twizzler. Red Twizzler, but like a red vine. Oh, I knew she was going to say red vine. I, well, I knew it. I'm a Twizzler person. Yeah. But it does what the heck is a red vine? vine? Vines are, di it's a different brand. Just think of it that way. Okay. So, but as soon as I said it, I'm like, she's going to say vine. Is that some LA crap? No. West Coast, baby. No, I'd say that's more uh, rural Middle Tennessee crap is what I'd say. Really? Oh, yeah. Dude, this is gingerbread. I don't, I don't understand where you're like freaking vines. Okay. Taste it. I want a single barrel pick of that. <laughs> but you can't, like, I want a single blend pick. I, ah, that's good. Chris Fletcher, you son of a gun. Here's what I think the other two components do to. Well, here's what I think the 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 malted um, the single malt does. It softens the heck out of that rye spice. Mm -hmm. Like it's still spicy, but then it's just like it brings the it sweet. Home. It really brings. And it I home. agree. There's some cherry in there. There's some cherry coming in. Now, on this, the tasting notes it says. The blend of three bonded whiskeys. Yeah, I'm with cherry on the palate, not with, with pleasant notes of honey, malt, and soft oak. I get the malt. I'm not getting the honey as much, but I get the oak on the back. I end. do get the oak. There, it, it feels like it I has more age. That. It does say distilled by a single distiller during a single season and matured in a government bonded warehouse for at least four years. This one has more age on it. Yeah. Than. Now, here's a question that I don't know the answer to, but I'm going to pose it. And if you and, know the answer, Put it in the comments below. But if you if you take the bonded malt, so if it meets its requirements, yeah. and the bonded rye, and yeah. the bonded, like... I don't think this, you can call that bonded. You're saying if there's different seasons, different right, ages. Well, I was going to say, yeah, it, could you have an older bottled and bond They'd have to call that malt. a blend. Is it a blend? It says blended straight whiskey. And it's a blend of bonded American malt, rye, and Tennessee whiskey. They totally could. So could it have older well, American malt and younger rye? And like, could they be of three different ages if they if the components are bonded? That's can it still be bonded components making a triple mash bottle and bond hundred proof? But then you're able to fudge the age game. Yeah. Uh, put put it down in the comments. We right. definitely want to read more about this. I would say this all came from a single season. It was all the same age. Because I'm getting it, more age on it, bud. Well, I know, but I'm just, I mean, maybe this project wasn't ready. Maybe it took eight years for this blend to be there. I don't know. I don't think it's eight years because I think that. Could be. I don't know. Bottled in, it says right here, bottled in bond. No, I understand. Proof. I do understand that. And I'm saying that. But it also says a blended straight if, whiskey. If it's a blend of straight whiskeys into, that are all bonded, can you still marry those and still say bottle and bond. Okay. We don't know the answer. The, I, the, the side I text probably... actually argues your point. A blend of three bonded whiskeys right. with pleasant notes of honey, malt, and soft oak leading to long-lasting, well run finish. You said that. that. And then it says bottled and bond. It's not saying that this is bottled and bond. Well, it does on the front saying bottled and bond 100 proof. Under Well, yes. I. But could they... I mean... One, I, I think it's either one or the other. Either they can get by with it, like it is able to be bottled and bond with them being different ages, or it isn't, and they're following the rules. I, I think that I don't think they're trying to play cute with the word bottled and bond because it's their whole program. Like they have an entire beautiful booklet that I don't know where it went. I had it in my hands earlier. That's okay. like talking about bottled and bond whiskey and talking about this. They're paying tribute to it. So I think the entire purpose of it is not going to mess with that. I have another question. It says DSPTN1 and DSPTN4. It does say that on here as well. Would that argue that those are... I, I think that because... Uh, Does it have to come off the same... This whole same process? No, so if, if you look at even Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, they have the bo them both... Uh, I'm learning something right if now. If you look at Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond or if you look at uh, Early Times Bottled and Bond, because the distilleries, because they're so big, may have different bottling facilities and 
uh, distilling Copy facilities, yeah, 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 yeah. but they still have D they have different DSP numbers, but yeah. they're still the same, the same distiller. It's still a controlled environment. It's still the same distiller, yeah. but like early times has two DSPs on it. Yeah, I'm nearly yeah. positive Heaven Hill does because now that you say they that, distill I was just it at, analyzing. They distill it at Bernheim and age it in in Bardstown. Fair. This is good. Thirty two bucks. Buy. This I'm is, a buy on both of them. I think they're fantastic. Buy on both for sure. Um, the, I would say this one's great, them, neat, but honestly, with the price point and the proof, I would this make, could be a mixer. I would make an old fashioned with that. Yes. I would make a Jack and Coke Manhattan with, like, with that, or a Jack and Coke with like the uh, like the real sugar Mexican cokes. Okay, all day long with that bad boy. Okay, all summer long. Actually. I like the. I actually like the fructose, but this I, you wouldn't put this in anything. This is freaking great. This is really good. All right, thank you so much to Jack Daniels for sending these to us. They're really cool. You should you should check these out because they'll be hitting your market soon. I think they're both a really good value. I love that about them, that they're both. I was honestly expecting the SRPs on these to be over 40 bucks, probably closer to 50, but they're not. $29.99, $32.99, go pick them up. Uh, I'm a buy on both of them. Grease, what about you? 100% um, buy, and I'm pretty sure that America is actually going to get to buy these. Yeah, it's actually rolling out in the United States before being an international release. It is going to go yes. overseas, but I'm very grateful that we're going to get to enjoy it first. So thanks, Jack Daniels, for sending them. Hey, everyone, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Go to patreon.com slash the podcast to support us. And if they want to buy some merch, where can they do it, Mr. Grease? You go to the podcast.com slash store. You can also check out our new barrel program where we pick some freaking killer single barrels at oakandthieves.com. All right, that's going to do it for this video. We'll catch you next time.